At a meeting with President Akufa at the Jubilee House on Friday, legal practitioner and a member of the Board of Amnesty International, Martin Pebu, says the country's laws on death penalty should be abolished. Mr. Pebu says a constitutional amendment to Act 29 of the Criminal Offences Act will ensure that the clause is amended. Amnesty International has for years been pushing for the abolishment of the death penalty in Ghana. Mr. Kwebu says a petition to get a constitutional amendment has so far received over 11,000 respondents. In actual fact, the death penalty uh, is currently in our law in six provisions. And out of these six, five are in Act 29, which is an ordinary act of parliament. And so that means that for those provisions, you require an amendment of Act 29, not a constitutional amendment which will require a referendum. It is provided in section 46 of the Act 29 that a person who commits murder shall suffer death. So to paraphrase. So Your Excellency, our submission is that to the extent that section 46, which is on murder, and that's by far overwhelmingly the, 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 the commonest offense for which the death penalty is uh, given today is in an ordinary act of parliament. That is all that we have to do is to amend section 46 and the other sections of the Act 29. President Okufaro on his part says government will consider the options available and do what is right. The death penalty issue is now uh, a, a, a discussion of global proportions and I know that there are hundreds and lots and lots of countries in the world that have come to grips with it. I think that the solution that you're proposing is an ingenious one. Mm, to the extent that five out of six, is that what you're saying? Five out of six offenses can in fact be dealt with by statutory enactment. This is something that the Attorney General, the Minister for the Interior, the other security agencies in the country, they're going to put their heads around the idea and bring some suggestions to us in Cabinet for a decision. But I think whatever be the case, even when the, the proposal will come for us to adopt this solution of yours, I think that when it goes to the Parliament, it should go as a, uh, as a, not as a party issue with party whips. It should go on a free vote so that people can express their views and, then, and not be driven by the whips of the majority party. I think this is a matter that ought to be a, a matter for the individual responsibility of the members of parliament.